Bereshit, Genesis 50. And Yosef fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. And Yosef commanded at his servants and at the physicians to embalm at his father, and the physicians embalmed at Yasharel. And forty days were fulfilled for him, for so are fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed. And the Mitzrayim mourned for him threescore and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Yosef spoke unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave which I have dug for me in the land of Canaan. There shall you bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray you, and bury at my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury at your father, according as he made you swear. And Yosef went up to bury at his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Mitzrayim, and all the house of Yosef, and his brethren, and his father's house, only their little ones, and their flocks, and their herds, they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Yardan. And there they mourned with a great and very sore lamentation. And he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Kenaim, saw at the morning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous morning. Rather, this is a grievous morning to the Mitzrayim. Wherefore, the name of it was called Avel Mitzrayim, which is beyond the Yardan. And his sons did unto him according as he commanded them. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which Avraham bought at with the field for a possession of a burying place of Ephron, the Chitti, before Mamre. And Yosef returned into Mitzrayim, he and his brethren, and all that went up with him to bury at his father, after he had buried at his father. And when Yosef's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Yosef will perchance hate us, and will certainly requite us with, rather, at, rather, requite us at all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto El Yosef, saying, Your father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Yosef, Forgive, I pray you now, the transgression of your brethren and their sin, for they did unto you evil. And now, we pray you, forgive the transgression of of the servants of the Elohim of your father. And Yosef wept when they spoke unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be your servants. And Yosef said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of Elohim? But as for you, Ye thought evil against me, but 
Elohim meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and at your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly unto them. And Yosef dwelt in Mitzrayim, he and his father's house, and Yosef lived a hundred and ten years. And Yosef saw Ephraim's children of the third generation, the children also of Makir, the son of Manasseh, were brought up upon Yosef's knees. And Yosef said unto his brethren, I die, and Elohim will surely visit you and bring you out of this land unto the land which he swore to Avraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov. And Yosef took an oath of at the children of Yashael, saying, Elohim will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up at my bones from hence. So Yosef died, being a hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Mitzrayim.